The Segway Editor, which is used for editing segways and adding voice tracks to the log, has had a lot of work in version 5, so let's take a look. Here we have a layout with the Segway Editor on, but because we have dynamic layouts, we can actually create a layout that is specifically for voice tracking and Segway editing. So I'm going to go to my Layouts menu and load up the Voice Tracking layout. So here we have a much clearer view of the Segway Editor and the log. So basic Segway editing hasn't changed. Pick up an item, drag it around, so you can um, fine-tune the way it's mixed, and listen to the Segway. What has changed is you can now um, dynamically add in envelope edits in here, so you can change the way it's going to work, which is pretty cool. Uh, so let's save that one, and let's see what happens if we throw a sweeper into the mix. So I'm going to scroll down a couple of items, so I've got everything here. So now I want to add a sweeper. So I'm going to load up the because I don't have a, a media player, uh, sorry, a media browser uh, on this layout. I'm just going to load the floating one and pick a sweeper. So this is the uh, a jingle that's been defined in the system as a sweeper. I'm just going to drop it on there. So you can see what it's done straight away. It's uh, worked out how to overlay the sweeper embedded into the intro of the song. And depending on how your uh, settings are set, it'll either be set to the beginning of the song or the end of the intro. The interesting thing here is you can see the way that the um, envelope editing is going to duck the song while the sweeper is playing. And if we move the sweeper along, we can see that the, um, the ducking moves along with the sweeper. And because it's a dotted line, that tells us that this is automated, so that hasn't been altered by anyone. If I was to change this to be a little bit more pronounced, we can see it's gone to a solid line now, which indicates that it's going to do exactly as we told it to. If we're happy with that, we can hit the Save button, and we're sorted. The other thing that we would use the Segway Editor for is, of course, voice tracking. And the process for voice tracking hasn't really changed between version um, 4 and version 5. So uh, let's see how that works then. So uh, once again, we have uh, the two songs I want to voice track between. We click on the, um, the, the voice tracking button here and it plays back the last track. And as soon as it hears your voice, it starts recording. Unfortunately, I was already talking in the microphone, so that's why I picked that up. Um, when I'm ready, I can just press the, the play button on the next item. And um, when I'm ready, I can um, stop talking and hit the stop button. And I'll say, do you want to save it? So I say yes. So once again, we can see here that it's put the voice track in. We can see that it's ducked down the volume of the song here and here to accommodate the voice links. So uh, it's a pretty, uh, pretty useful thing to do. We can reset the volume. So if we mess around with this and then go, oh, oh no, I didn't really want to do that. I can just hit reset the volume and that will uh, reset back to markers. If I'm happy with that voice link, hit save. Move on to the next item. And that is segue editing and voice tracking in Myriad 5.